Hi everyone, welcome to today's GCSE Higher Revision video. There's 88 days to go into your GCSE Maths exam and today we're going to focus on the topic of percentage change. So you might see it as percentage increase or percentage decrease or percentage profit or percentage gain in terms such as those. If you've got the revision card, it's card number 55. So if you've got the higher revision cards, card number 55 is the revision card on percentage change. And you might find that revision card useful. But in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through how to find percentage change. And then going to give you some examples and then there'll be some questions for you to try yourself. So pause the video and give those questions a try yourself. And that's it. So let's get started. Okay, let's have a look at today's topic. So today's topic is percentage change. And if we ask to find the percentage change or percentage increase or percentage decrease or percentage profit or percentage loss or so on, we use this formula that the percentage change is the change divided by original times 100. And if we do change over original times 100, that will tell us the percentage change. So here we've got a question. It says, last season, York City sold 3,200 season tickets. And this season, York City sold 3,800 season tickets. Work out the percentage increase. So feel free to pause the video now and to use this formula and to work out the percentage change. Okay, so to find the percentage increase, we're going to do the change. Well, that's what it changes by. That's what it's gone up by. So if we do 3,800, take away 3,200, that's equal to 600. So the change is 600. They've gone up by 600. Divided by the original. Well, last season they had sold 3,200, so over 3,200. That's what it originally was, the original. And then we're going to multiply by 100. And when we type this into our calculator, 600 over 3,200 multiplied by 100, that gives us an answer of 18.75%. So that means that the increase in season ticket sales was 18.75%. And that's it. So if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at another one. And this is a non-calculator question, so I'm putting down my calculator. And we've got the height of a plant increases from 40 centimeters to 52 centimeters. Work out the percentage increase. So it's percentage increase, so we're going to be using the formula change over original times 100. So in terms of the change, well, it's gone from 40 up to 52, so the change is 12. Divided by the original, well, it was originally 40 centimetres, multiplied by 100. So if we work out 12 divided by 40 times 100, that'll be the percentage change. So in terms of 12 over 40, well, this is a non-calculator question. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cancel down this fraction. So these numbers are both divisible by 4. 12 and 40 are both in the 4 times tables. So let's simplify this fraction. So that means 12 divided by 4 is 3, and 40 divided by 4 would be 10. So cancelling down this fraction gives us 3 tenths, and then we've still got times 100. Now we're going to do 3 tenths times 100. Now there's a couple of ways you could do this. You could do 3 tenths times 100 and do it like multiplying fractions. I probably wouldn't do it that way. The other way you could do it is to do, well, 3 tenths is 0.3 as an equivalent decimal. So you could do 0.3 times 100. That'll be 30%. So you could do it that way. Or the way I would do it is I would just work out what 3 tenths of 100 is. So I take my 100, I divide by the bottom. 100 divided by 10 is 10 times by the top, times by three, would be 30. So that means the percentage increase would be 30%. And that's it. So that means the percentage increase in height of the plant is 30%. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at one last question. Now, this is a calculator question, and feel free to pause the video and to try this question out yourself. Okay, so the question says, Finn bought a TV for £250, and two years later, he sold the TV for £198. Work out the percentage loss. So in this question, let's look at the change. Well, he bought it for 250 and he sold it for 198. So the change is 52. It changed by 52 pound. Divided by the original, he originally bought it for 250 pound. So over 250 multiplied by 100. So we just need to work this out in our calculator. So we do 52 divided by 250 times 100 or 52 over 250 times 100. And that's equal to 20.8. So that means the percentage loss is 20.8%. And that's it. So if you got that, well done. So that's it. So in today's video, we've looked at percentage change. That is fine by change divided by original times 100. And that's it. And also look out for words such as percentage increase, percentage decrease, percentage profit, percentage loss, because we'll be using the same technique. And that's it. And that's it. So I hope you find this very useful on percentage change. So remember to find percentage change is change over original times 100. That will give us our percentage change. And also remember in the description below, there's some practice questions. And particularly with a topic such as percentage change, it's quite often in a context. So those practice questions will be quite useful as some examples of context that you might encounter. So they're in the description below. Give those a shot and keep up the hard work. You're doing fantastically well. The fact you've got two 88 days to go, so you've gone through all those videos so far. Hopefully you have. And I hope you found them useful. If you have found these useful, please like it. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And also, just if you've got any friends who might find these videos useful, please recommend it to them just because um, it might help them out. And also, it might, the videos may be even more views. So thanks so much. Cheers. Bye.